I challenged myself to 30 days of no refined sugar in my diet and I just wrapped it up so I wanted to share my experience these past 30 days and why I think everyone should do this 30 day challenge. The absolute biggest thing I learned in these past 30 days and also when I did this last year, I did it a year ago for the very first time trying out the 30 days of no sugar. And this second time around, the thing that just is glaringly obvious to me whenever I do it is how many times I crave or just want to have some sugar because of a situational event that's going on. Either it's an emotional situation or I'm simply procrastinating or I'm feeling stressed about something. That is when I tend to want to have some sugar and it's never more obvious to me than when I'm challenging myself to not do that and to have to say no to that craving. When you're not allowing yourself to numb your feelings with sugar, it truly forces you to acknowledge what the problem is and take more reasonable and more effective steps to overcoming those feelings. So if I'm procrastinating, I know instead of eating something and just delaying the inevitable, I should write down steps, some actionable steps, drink some water and just make a little improvement towards that goal that I'm working towards. If I'm stressed about something, again, go for a walk, take a nap, something other than sugar because it is not going to fix any of my or your problems and it's only going to make you feel worse which leads me to the second thing that is truly eye-opening for me in doing this challenge is that it's not about willpower it's not about simply having the will to choose to not have this added refined sugar that makes everything taste good and makes you so happy because biologically our bodies do want fuel and if we are not giving our bodies the fuel that it needs then we're going to crave things something else i really found fascinating that i was researching in the past 30 days is about how our gut health affects cravings and i will link to a video down below that i found incredibly inspirational and just motivational and not even just that it just makes sense and that our gut i know it's sort of like a trendy buzz phrase but our guts are basically like our second brains and it just controls so many of the systems of our body and that adding in more fermented foods which i definitely did incorporate more this month and i definitely found that they almost eliminated my craving for sugar. So adding things like fermented sauerkraut and kimchi and yogurt and cottage cheese, those types of products, they truly made a difference in my sweet tooth. But I did dip my toe a little bit into different types of sugar alternatives. I'm really not big into them and I, I never had any interest in them, but I have been using a protein powder that has monk fruit sweetener in it. So it's an all natural sweetener. It, it doesn't have any sugar, but it gives that sweetness to the protein powder. And I've been making pancakes and putting it in smoothies and you know, just making different things, adding it to different things, putting a little scoop in some Greek yogurt. And it gives me that little bit of sweetness that I may be wanting that of course I could get from fruit as well. But of course, protein powder is giving me protein, which again, helps to keep you full and keep those cravings at bay. So I have been enjoying that. And also there were two different times this month that I just I'm sure it was emotional. I mean, I know it was emotional. I wanted something sweet. I wanted some sort of junk food or chocolate or something. So I tried out a Lily's chocolate bar, which is stevia sweetened, and I really liked it. It wasn't, it didn't taste really off and kind of artificial to me. So that was, I found to be a really great alternative. Again, I, I mean, I know I probably don't have to put this disclaimer out there, but I am in no way saying that all sugar is bad for you. You should never have a gram of sugar in your lifetime. I'm just really trying to see what works best for myself and just keeping things 
stable and not feeling the craving for sugar, but again, just choosing to have sugar. I want to just choose to have some chocolate instead of feeling like I'm out of control and I you know, have to have it. When I set out for this 30 day challenge, I mentioned in my goals that I wasn't gonna focus all my attention on what I wasn't having, but really truly focus on what I will be having and the meals that I will truly be enjoying. And that has been the key. After I did it last year, it really set me up and reset my taste buds to wanting and adding way less sugar into my diet throughout that whole past year. But of course, then we got into sort of like the holiday season and Christmas, and then we're in the dead of winter. I definitely noticed that I was having it more and not feeling good. I wasn't enjoying how I was feeling when I would incorporate it more. So this reset was so beneficial. It again has opened my eyes to how I need to better deal with emotional and stressful situations and not go for refined added sugars because they truly have no value. I mean, they don't add anything nutritionally. If you are wanting sugar, there are so many better alternatives that are natural, that are just, you know, naturally sweet, like dates and fruit and, you know, things like that which of course it is sugar and we do need to be mindful of how much sugar we're having regardless of where it comes from. But the artificial refined added sugars, they really don't add anything nutritionally that's beneficial. The only benefit of this refined added sugar I have found is simply the, again, situational and communal aspect to food because again, Saying no to sugar for 30 days meant that for the past 30 days, when there were multiple birthday parties and get togethers and dinner you know, gatherings with dessert, I had to say no for 30 days. Literally almost every single day was something offered to me or presented to me that I had to say no to. And if I wasn't challenging myself and I said yes to every single event because I felt bad or I didn't want someone to think I don't like their food or something like that, then, you know, that was 30 days of, sh of refined sugar that would have added up. So by doing this reset and just resetting my palate, resetting my mindset to really be aware of that emotional eating, then going forward, I feel like I'm set up so much better to enjoy those communal aspects when there is a dessert or something that is offered. And I don't say yes every time because again, I know that I feel better when I don't, but if it's something that's incredibly special, my you know child baked something for me, or it's a really big birthday celebration or something like that, then those times I want to enjoy that food, enjoy that sweet dessert, and you know, not feel bad about it. I definitely think there's different types of personalities when it comes to sugar that some people can have a little bit and feel satisfied and not go back for more. Personally, that's just not me. I, I can do it sometimes, but more often than not, if I have a little, I want more. So if I am going to have something that's sugary, I would just rather it have some more nutritional benefits behind it instead of just straight sugar. Again, not a hard and fast rule, just something I want to be more mindful of and I think would truly benefit anyone and everyone. If you are someone that has any inkling or any desire to see how much sugar you consume or if you you know just want to see if you can decrease it or eliminate it for 30 days i would highly encourage you just to try it like i mentioned when i asked you guys if you wanted to do this with me you know 30 days just goes so fast the time is going to pass whether you do it or not and i just can't see any negative benefits of course I'm not a doctor. So if you have some sort of medical need and you have to have you know, different types of sugar, that's a different situation. If you did take on this challenge with me, I cannot wait to hear from you down in the comments. I know I'm about a week early 
from when I announced it, I was already a week into it. So if you still have some time left to go, I encourage you to keep going and to really see it through, see that you can do it and really reap those benefits. So definitely let me know in the comments, are you currently going through this? Have you ever done this before? What was your experience or what are you experiencing right now? I would love to encourage you or just hear about how it is going for you. So thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe and I'll be talking to you soon.